Wow, that's a powerful smell. It reminds me slightly of dogs. Oh my floating goodness! Floating tea towel! It floated! I cannot eat mac and cheese with my fingers pulled. What I'm going to do is challenge you to make a meal with the ingredients and the limitations that the astronauts on the International Space Station would have. I can do that. I'm up for the challenge. Yeah, let's do it. Let's okay. do it. I like soy sauce and lime juice. Um, spicy, spicy. Oh, dried mushrooms. I can have those. That's nice, veg. Yeah. Okay. Um, peanut butter. Nice. Peanuts. Why not? Solara nuts. Um, I noticed some baby food here. Yes, there's a very good reason for that. Now, it's because the packaging made me think of the kind of packaging they have on the space station. Oh. Now, they do have tins up there, but they also have uh, foil packaging up there too mm. to keep the food nice and fresh and not use up a lot of space. Tell you what, let's clear the area and we'll start cooking your meal. Okay. So where are you going to start, Lydia? Um, I want to chop this brock. Chop the brock. Now something to remember is that we don't want our chopping board and our knives floating off, especially the knives. Oh yeah, don't want flying knives. There's a lot of Velcro on the International Space Station. I think what we're going to do is perhaps stick our knives down with, with tape. With tape, yeah. Uh, sort of Velcro substitute, yes. Huh. I'm going to chop this. Ah, let me stop you there. You don't want bits of broccoli floating anywhere, right? No. Now, like I said, it's all pre-prepared and packaged on the International Space Station, but occasionally they do do a bit of chopping, when, especially when they have a bit of fresh veg. Mm. So I'm gonna give you a bag in a which bag. to chop <laughs> to okay. stop your broccoli from floating oh, off. Oh, thank you. I will chop then, chop, chop, chop. I want it quite small. Now, um, I don't know how I'm gonna cook this broccoli, Paul. Could you please enlighten me? Now they inject warm water into their food to warm it up, and they also have a forced air convection oven. Now, we're gonna use a microwave. We're gonna okay. cheat a little bit. <gasps> uh, I'm gonna allow the use of a bowl. Oh, okay, good. I think... Just for the microwave. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Broccoli is cooking. Um, I want to cook up some macaroni cheese now. So you need another mixing bowl, and by mixing bowl, I mean bag. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. I'll do the trick. Okay, now. Okay. Uh, it was an excellent choice, mac and cheese, if I may say because when you're cooking in space, you don't want anything too runny or too crumbly, rather. You okay. want it to be nice and gloopy. Okay, gloopy is good. Gloopy is good because it all sticks together and so it doesn't float off then. Oh, that's clever. Um, so this is lovely. I want to put this in, but they're dehydrated. So I think I need to rehydrate. I'm going to carefully transport them so they don't float away. So we'll pretend that we're injecting some warm water into a foil packet. Okay. of dried mushrooms. Mmm, they're nice and stinky. <laughs> wow, that's a powerful smell. It reminds me slightly of dogs. <laughs> it does. <laughs> now that you say it, it does, yes. <laughs> oh, Ooh. ready. Okay, now, do I feel like I want a bit of seasoning with this? And seasoning, I've got this okay. seasoning here. A bit of soy sauce. A bit of Go soy sauce, rock. sounds good. Mmm. These are looking a bit hydrated. Should we chuck them in too? Yeah, yeah. Lovely stuff. Come on, little mushrooms. It's time to be delicious. Giddy up. Okay, should we put some peanuts in? Let's stick some peanuts in. Why not? It's so, turning out quite I'm well, isn't with it? my choice now. Quite balanced. Yes. Okay. Um, Anything else for I this brew? A bit of hot sauce. A bit of hot sauce. Check Is that in. weird to put hot sauce in with this? I'm glad you picked hot sauce actually because they like strong flavours on the space station. Oh. Now when they first go up there, all the fluid in their body, it goes up to their faces and it affects their sense of smell and their sense of taste. 
So they like strong flavours. And even when that fluid has had time to spread out a bit, mm -hmm. there's still all the competing smells on the space like station. Like what kind of smell? There's a bit of body odour smell. Oh! So, uh, that's so just... this has got to fight weeks old body odour. Uh, that's just one of the many smells up there they oh, encounter. We so, better make uh, it quite spicy then. Yes. Okay, bring on the spice. Bring on the spice. Okay. Do you want to shake? Okay. Shakey, shakey. Look at all that gloop. That is very gloopy. This is looking very Which sticky. Which is very the gloopy. objective, so it's good. Okay, now um, when this comes out in the microwave, I'm going to need a plate. You're not allowed plates. I cannot eat mac and cheese with my fingers, Paul. That's too much to ask. If you have a plate on the International Space Station, disaster. Instead, they use a lot of these. Oh, tortilla. Tortilla wraps, Who doesn't yes. have a tortilla? There we go. Now what you need is some food glue. Some food glue to stick it to the tortilla wrap. Stop it floating off. Oh. So what can we use for food glue, do you think? Well, peanut butter's pretty gloopy. Very sticky. Have you ever had a peanut butter mac and cheese before? Uh, there's a first time for everything. Okay. But peanut butter good, mac and cheese good. Glue. Baby glue. food glue. Good. Yeah! <laughs> mm, is that enough glue? Uh, yeah, I reckon. Okay. You ready? Let's go. Now, is that, that feels a bit hot. Ah. Maybe I need something. A tea towel. Oh a my goodness. A floating tea towel. It floated into my hand. No expense spared. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought we were on earth. Wow. Okay. <laughs> nice and safely done. Love it. Now imagine that's on some tape. Yes. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Do you think it's going to be good? Mm. Mm, very appetising. Now it may not look that great, but I think it you know, might taste great. We'll see. Right. Should I chop it in half? I'm ready for the chop. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh. The taste test. Da, 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 da. Okay, here we go. Mm. It's all right, I think. Mm. It's nice and gloopy. Mm -hmm. There's no danger of it floating off, I reckon. Tastes good. You got a bit of tang. It's exciting. Bit of a kick. Bit of a kick. Got your greens. Got your greens. The crunch of the peanut as well is beautiful. Mmm. You pass with floating colours. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Well done, Lydia. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Paul, here is a beautiful meal I've made for you. What do you call this dish? I call this um, like a fusion <laughs> mm, satay mm, mac and cheese. Fusion satay mac and In cheese? In a tortilla. <laughs> Should we try it? That's the only thing left to do. <laughs>